Hi guys, in this video I'll discuss how to do a voltage drop test. Now if you see my alternator diagnosing video, you will see that sometimes if you have a dead battery in the morning and you suspect it's the alternator, it could be the cables going from your alternator to your battery. Um, that means it's not having a good connection to your battery, the alternator, it's not charging your battery sufficiently or correctly. So this is a way to uh, rule that out. Now what you want to do here is you connect to your digital voltmeter, your DVOM, uh, set it to volts, DC volts, and you connect the common for the first test. You connect the common switch port, which is your negative in this case, or in all cases, down to your negative lead on the alternator case, which is the alternator case, or some alternators have a strap that connects to the motor, you connect it on that strap. And the positive will go straight to your negative post on the battery. So you're essentially checking the connection from, that goes from your negative post to the battery straight to your motor and through to your alternator. Okay? Because the alternator needs ground to work correctly. If you take a look at my How Alternators Works how Alternators Work video, you will see why we need negative power to your alternator. Now what you want to do is you start the car once you have that set up. And this car is a 2007 Impala, Chevy Impala if you're wondering. Alright, now what you want to do is you turn everything on except your rear window defroster because that takes a lot of amperage. So you turn your radio on, you turn your lights on, Turn everything on, right? And you go up to 2,000 RPM once you do that. Turn all the electrical stuff your car has on. Now what you're doing here is you're putting voltage through the battery. Sorry, you're making sure that the, you're making the alternator. You're putting a load on the alternator, making sure that that negative connection is good and you're giving enough power out. So that negative is being in demand from the negative side of the alternator. And you have 0.05, which is really good. You should see anywhere from 0.2 and down. So you can see we're, we're way within limits. Anything under 0.2 and down, you're really good. Uh, anything around 0.2, 0.3, you're probably still good, but I would, that's what I've seen them at. But you, you would want to check your manufacturer specs on that. One way to check that would be to go to alldatadiy.com um, that's uh, $20 for your car to give you everything for your car. It, you know, it gives you everything. Um, all the specs, all the wiring diagrams, how to troubleshoot stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> once, uh, I mean, I'm not endorsing that website. I'm just saying one way you could get your specs is go through there. Anyway, now what you want to do is also test the positive side of the battery. Let me lower my radio down a little bit. Now you just tested the negative side of the battery going to the alternator. You want to check the positive side now. Now what you're going to do with your positive side is you're going to get, connect a positive lead from your multimeter. It's going to go on the positive lead of your alternator in the back. I'll show you what that is. It's usually a thick wire covered with a boot. You take that boot off and you put that uh, the wire on there. And the negative lead of the voltmeter goes on the positive side of the battery. Now let me show you how that looks like on the car. Okay, this is what I did the negative side. Positive was on the negative, and the negative was on the alternator case. That's how you test the negative side. The positive now, you take this off. You take this off. Put the positive side from the multimeter on the back here. Now be careful of all the running parts here, as you can see this. If you're bending over and you have a chain or whatever, it might get caught here, so be careful it doesn't get caught. Now what you want to do in the back of the alternator here, you see there's a boot. I took it off already, but there's usually a boot with a thick red cable on it. Take that boot off to do this test. 
So that's a positive side, and connected to a positive side of the multimeter. All right. And the negative side goes on the positive side of the battery. Now, I already tested mine before over there on the positive side, so I'm just gonna put it over here. That's another test point. Now be careful if you put it here though, what happens, this cable goes straight to your battery po uh, positive. This is like a junction. This is for like uh, boosting the car and stuff like that. Uh, and your fuses take all the power from here. Now be careful if you put it here, because if this reading is good here, you can also mean that your reading here is not good to your, this cable's bad. So a good idea would be to connect this negative side and the positive side here first. I already did that before and my my wires don't go this far so I know it's good so let's make believe that I'm connecting over there plus if I take it off my meter is going to come off the window so I'm just doing this to demonst for demonstrative purposes and sometimes you want to wiggle it on there scrape it off it's a little dirty make sure you get a good connection so let's take a look and see how this looks like actually it just came off again Alright, that's how you check the positive side. Now let me go back in. Same steps here. Same steps, make sure that... Let me zoom in a little bit. Make sure that you're above to, to you're around 2000 RPM and that it doesn't drop it doesn't go above, sorry, it doesn't go above 3.2. You should be anywhere from 0.5 to 3.2-ish. Again, check your specs on that. Let me go to 2000 RPM and see what we read here. Now what you're doing, you're putting the charge through the alternator wire and you're testing that cable. 0.1632, that is perfect. Now what that means is you're going a very low, sorry for all the trembling here, you're getting a very low voltage drop through those wires and you can rule out any wiring or connection issues when diagnosing battery or alternator issues. Thanks for watching this clown's garage. If you have any questions you can always ask me on the bottom and don't forget to subscribe to this clown. It's free to subscribe and it's free to like me. There's plenty of this clown to like. Thanks for watching and take care.